Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Our guest today is a Facebook strategist whose clients have improved their businesses by 400%, also enabling her clients to fill events and sell $18,000 coaching programs to complete strangers. Today, she's going to show you how to grow your business with Facebook. Please put your hands together and help me welcome to the Wind Sales Now podcast, our good friend, Chantel Girardi. Thank you. Wow. I, I love these numbers. 400% growth, $18,000 coaching programs. I love that. And uh, as we stalk and follow you on social media, you've got a list of credentials a mile long. You're in the top 100 coolest companies in Australia. You're a finalist in the Telstra Business Awards, and you've been featured on media outlets like Channel 9. First question is, how fast do you move and how much do you sleep? <laughs> it's a lot to do in a short time. Um, well, I'm going to use the S word, the strategy word, um, and you love that word. And it's all about having a time efficient strategy that actually works, that actually creates income. Um, so I can say that I do sleep and I do get to exercise because that's important for me. Um, but for me, it was essential for me to have an income producing strategy because as a mum with three kids um, who was divorced, um, I needed to, out of pure necessity, I had to get my business working. So I had no choice but to find a way to make it happen. And I had no time to sit and just fluff around on Facebook. I needed to make sure that the time and energy that I was putting into Facebook actually resulted in income. Um, and with the awards, I really just went and got those awards because I wanted to show other people in business that if I can do it, they can do it too. It's about simply investing in themselves and their ability to be a better business owner um, and to do better in their own businesses. And, and you've done all that being a single mum with three children. So mm. excuses are a load of BS. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think Facebook uh, is an unknown unknown for a lot of people. Uh, I think it scares a lot of people. What are some of the reasons why Australian businesses aren't using Facebook ads to grow their business right now? Um, it is overwhelming and most people don't get the basic fundamentals of using Facebook correctly. I mean, some people don't even know how to log into their accounts or don't even have admin rights over their accounts. Um, I've had three situations this week, actually, with regards to that. So um, the other thing is, is that if they're not getting the leads generating just through organic Facebook, and if they don't have it set up properly or don't know how to manage it properly, then gambling money away on advertising can be a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. Also, everybody's heard about those people that are throwing money at Facebook ads and not actually getting any result. And it's because, again, it comes back to that S word, strategy. Uh, they're basically just throwing everything out onto Facebook and hoping something that's going to stick but it is not a customer-focused income-producing strategy. So it can be scary for them. And also, if you've had a look at the business manager account, that is even scarier. Mm. So Facebook have gone and tried to make it easier for us, but what they've really done is they've actually made it really overwhelming and even more complicated. The good news is, is that if you do get the Facebook foundations set up correctly, and if you understand it, and you have a strategy which is customer-focused with the end in mind, and you work back from that, you can actually generate leads and clients from organic unpaid Facebook. Many are. You, you mentioned a word there before, two words, gambling and throwing money. I, I had a situation years ago where I'd hired somebody to help me with Facebook ads and they said, you've got to throw more money at it. And I thought to myself, I said, I hate that word. You know, the only thing, easy thing about money is losing it. And they're like, you've got to throw more, you've got to throw more, you've got to throw more. And I remember in one day there was $5,000 thrown at a campaign and it didn't get a return on investment. And so when I hear that, that word throw money at it, it tells me that they didn't have a strategy and throwing money at something is not a strategy. Yep, 100%. I've just actually um, done a blog on the 10 reasons why Facebook ads don't work. So they can always jump onto my website and check that out. But it does, does come down to the fact that you don't have a strategy to start off with. You don't really know why you're on there. You don't know what you're really hoping to achieve. Um, and if you don't know that, and if you don't know your customer, 
and who you're talking to and what your desirable offer is, you literally are throwing it. Um, and personally, um, I do believe that Facebook advertising is actually becoming an addiction and it is becoming a gamble because there are many business owners out there that rather than going and working on the strategy, they want a quick fix or a Band-Aid and they rather go and throw money at it. And then when it doesn't work, they throw more and more and more and it still doesn't work because the fun foundations haven't been established um, and they're not ticking all the organic principles that they should be following to start off with. Could you define organic for our friends and followers? What, what does that mean to you? Sure. Um, well, firstly, organic to everyone else is basically unpaid, meaning that you're generating leads coming through your page or even your personal profile. You're generating inquiries without putting any money on it. Hmm. Um, how it actually works is it's all about the no like, and trust, okay? And we are selling in, in Facebook land, we're selling to strangers. So that no like, and trust is really important. Now, what people want to do is they want to throw money at it to try and <laughs> push themselves down someone else's throat um, mm -hmm. by going, no like, and trust me, no like, and trust me, no like, and trust me. Um, and we've all been on those dates where it's like me, 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 and somebody's going me, me, me. They don't get a second date because they haven't actually listened to what it is that you know, they haven't shown you any attention, they haven't listened to your needs, they haven't connected with you at a deeper level. Mm -hmm. um, and those are all the organic principles that have to happen first, else you're literally selling to a cold audience. Mm. It, it is interesting uh, how it is like dating. It is. <laughs> go to the bar and see how many people you can buy a drink for <laughs> and then put it on them straight away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we yeah. talk about marriage material and uh, the acquisition of clients, you know, mm. you've got to build up that know, like, and trust. And uh, you've got to ask good questions. You have to engage. <laughs> you can't mm. throw your offer at them straight away. And even if you're going to discount it by 500%, yeah. it, it's no, no reason to buy. You know, they've got to no. have a connection. Yep. Yeah, I, I just really resonate by what you're saying, you know, when we think about the, the back time that we used to throw a lot of money into the Facebook ads. And then really, you know, when, when you say that, what do you have to do? And I think that's what we have learned uh, along the way and how to generate the good organic leads by, you know, a lot of uh, strategy that you've been sharing is, is brilliant. Do you, do you think uh, yeah. Australians add enough value to the marketplace or do they just want to take without giving? <laughs> what, what do you think the block is there? And, and uh, I'll, I'll give you an example yeah, is sure. we add a lot of value to the marketplace. So, mm. We do a lot of uh, webinars. We do a lot of podcasts. And we're always giving value to build that know, like, and trust. But what I see is I see a lot of people trying to take before they give. Do you, do you see that? Um, look, it depends where you're looking. There's bad and good in everything. And I think there are heaps of people out there that are giving lots of value, but then they forget to ever actually ask or let them know about a product or service that it is that they're offering. So they give, 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 give. And they go, well, I've been giving for the last year, but I don't actually, I haven't made any money from that. Well, what's the strategy? How are you actually giving? But then how are you actually engaging their services? Is it by offering the discovery call? Is it by um, asking, uh, showing them the product or the service that you're actually offering? Many times, if you go onto someone's Facebook page, you actually don't know what they're selling. Mm -hmm. They might be giving heaps of value, but you don't know what they're selling and you don't know how much it is. And you go, thank you. I'll take all that value, but you never actually ask for the sale. You never ask for the close. So I think there is, there's two sides to that story. And then there's the others that just go, buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. Um, and you're just like, whoa, no thanks. Unsubscribe, unfollow, block. <laughs> 100%. Now, in terms of practical ideas, um, what's, what are some practical ideas that our friends and followers can implement today so they can start to win more business from Facebook? What can they do? I think they should just stop and they should just breathe. <laughs> and, and they should just acknowledge that there are many people out there that are getting great results from Facebook, okay? And rather listening to what everybody else is doing and doing a little bit of what everyone else is doing, just stop. And I always say, just get the fundamentals right. So the eight fundamentals of Facebook. So um, you have to, firstly, you've got to consider who, who you are and how you want to be seen online. Mm -hmm. And your privacy is super important. I mean, as a mom of three kids, you've got to make sure that you understand your privacy settings. That is number one. 
Mm. But also, as I said, personal branding, how you want to be seen online. Number two is your ideal clients. You know, who are they? I mean, I know you talk about this all the time, but seriously, do you actually know who they are? Mm. And do, can you actually connect with them? People go, I can't create content. Well, it's because you don't know who you're talking to. If you were talking to somebody that you were genuinely interested in, and um, then you would have this engaging two-way conversation, and it's really easy. So you have to understand who, who they are. A lot, Many a lot business of owners don't do that. Genuine yeah. interest. Genuine interest. If you're really genuine interested interest. about your client, you're going to stalk them. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> what, Everyone stalks. <laughs> Where do they have fun? What are they reading? What are they listening to? Who are they following? Mm, but only if you've got a genuine interest. I like that. Genuine. It has to be genuine. Um, and then your competitors. You have to know what your competitors are doing online. And this is one of the most underutilized things. But if they went and they stalked their competitors on Facebook, checked out their profiles, looked how they set up and are using their profiles, look at the type of content that they're getting, the type of reviews, their services, their pricing, their systems that they have in place to capture those leads, I'm not saying this so that they can copy them, but I'm saying that you can learn to become a, a better Facebook user and you can come up with your own strategy that's going to stand out from everyone else online. Very, very important point there about your competitive analysis. There's a lot of business people that I speak to and they say proudly, they say, we have no competition. <laughs> and there is so much more competition today. And as a coach and for the consultants out there, YouTube is our competition. Yes. Facebook is our competition. Facebook Lives are our competition. Ebooks for seven ninety nine are our competition. Apps are our competition. Your competition is anywhere else where your customer can spend their money. And this is we believe that there is so much competition today, and it's coming from so many different places. And if people are trying to put strategies together, and you don't know who your competition is, is you're going to lose. No general would ever go to battle if they didn't know their competitor. <laughs> 100%, 100%. And again, I said it's one of the most underutilized things that people could be doing. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, and I always say to people, you know, how are you going to get a yes from strangers online? Like, mm. what are you going to do to get a yes? You have to have your points of difference. You have to give value. You have to show your, um, your uh, credentials. You have to show, share your um, social proof and testimonials and success stories from people. Um, you have to show them your points of difference. You have to show them your values. You know, these are all the things. And again, it's like dating. If you say these things and you keep showing this in your content and across your, pro your profiles, people are going to, you're going to get a yes from them. You're going to get a yes from strangers. They're going to know, like, and trust you. Um, and they're going to want to do business with you. They want to choose you. And it's not going to become about price. People always say, oh, yeah, I get chosen on price. I really don't believe that. I think that it all comes down to values, service, uh, professionalism, and people pay anything to be a part of what it is that you're offering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, they, these are four tips already, and there was a total of eight or ten. There's eight. eight. There's eight. Now, if our followers and friends want to learn the other four, sure. can they find them on your website? Yes, they can. Uh, it is, and they're going to have to spell this out, chantelgerardi.com.au. So you've heard the four already. And if you want the other four, you can go over to chantelgerardi.com.au. So we're going to spell it out for them. C-H-A-N-T-A-L-G-E-R-A-R-D-Y.com.au. Uh, but Ninny and I will make it even easier. We'll put it in the link below this podcast. Uh, one of the big takeaways here for me, Chantel, is, uh, is, is the, the competitive analysis and also understanding your clients. And I love what you said there, mm. is having a genuine interest. And I think that's so important. So if you're genuinely interested about working and helping your ideal clients achieve their goals, then uh, I'd recommend heading over to your website, chantelgerardi.com.au, to learn more how to do that on Facebook specifically. So thank you so much for sharing your ideas here, Chantel. Nini, any summary for you? Any wrap up there? Yeah, I, I love all the idea that you share with us and our audience. And uh, I probably will write you a personal message and ask you how, how, <laughs> how can I do it? <laughs> do it. Go to the website yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, book a call. Go for it. Let's chat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, do it quick. Brilliant. Do it now. Don't wait. Do I, it will, now. I will. I <laughs> will. 
<laughs> okay, Chantel, now you're heading off to Melbourne in Tasmania. Uh, you'll be coaching people down there through Facebook over the next two days. Uh, we wish you a safe and happy journey. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Yeah. And we'll yeah. talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.